made it mean, Bowers Game. Here, YouTube, I'm back again for another how to play video, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Ruckus. This is for three or more players, ages six plus. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is shuffle up all the cards and then deal seven cards to each player. Make sure that no player looks at their cards until everyone is ready to look at their cards. Now, once everybody's ready to look at your cards, you're going to look at them, and the game is going to start, and it's going to be fast, and it's going to be frantic. Now, what you're going to do at the beginning of the game is you're going to be looking in your hand for sets of two or more matching cards. So right now, I have two Fishman and three Monkey in a Bottle. I immediately have to play those face up in front of myself at the beginning of each round. So I'd say Fishman, and then I'd say Monkey in a Bottle. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look around the table for to see if anyone has Head Monster or Out of This World. Because if an opponent does, then I can steal that set from them and place them in front of myself. However, no one has those out, so let's go over to someone else's hands. We'll look up here, and we'll see that this player still has Solar Power, Monkey in a Bottle, and Around the Block in their hand. So what they could do is they could say, Monkey in a Bottle! And then they can steal all the cards in front of me and place them in front of them, which is going to be victory points for them. Once again, everyone's going to be doing all this at the exact same time. It's very fast, very frantic. They might also notice, oh, I got Solar Power. So they say, Solar Power! However, you don't have to do this. You could just hold that in your hand until someone else potentially steals solar power or until a player adds more cards to it because if this player happens to draw a solar power card, then they put it on top of here announcing solar power like normal. But you don't have to play a card. The only time you have to play a card is at the beginning when you have a set of two or more of identical cards. Now, what might happen to you is you might look around, and so this player might say, Happy Robot! Put that in front of them, and they might say, Oh, nobody else has jump time. And if you ever notice that your hand of cards cannot do anything, then you can draw one card from the top of the deck and see if it does something. So in this case, I'd say, Monkey in a bottle! And I'd be back in the same situation. i draw another card. And all the players are going to be doing this, and the whole goal is to get rid of all of the cards in your hand. Because if you could play the last card out of your hand, then you shout, Ruckus! Which means everyone immediately stops everything they're doing. And you score this round. So how does a round score? It's really quite simple. Each player is going to score the number of cards in front of them. So for instance, this player has three cards in front of them. And this player has two, four, seven, ten, uh, four, fifteen cards in front of them. However, if you're the person who said ruckus and ended the round, you also get five bonus points. So this person would get a grand total of 20 points for this round. And you need to mark it down on a separate sheet of paper. And going back to this player over here, they had three points, but you also lose one point for each of the cards that's left in your hands. So this player would actually score one point because they scored three for their elephant T, minus two for their two ruckus cards. Now this player doesn't have anything in front of them and they have two ruckus cards. They would get zero because you can never score negative. And if no one has reached the total of 77 points, then you're going to shuffle up the cards and play again until someone does reach 77 and if two people happen to reach 77 at the same time, then you share the victory. But that's how you're going to play Ruckus. If this helped you out, please consider subscribing down below. And also consider supporting the Patreon as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.